What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now it is Sunday and we are finally getting back into our Indie Comics Weekend. I currently have a, a bunch of really deep indie comics that are on backlog, just waiting for them to come out on, on Kickstarter. But with this video, we're going to be covering Berserker issue number 4. Now, for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, we covered issues 1 through 3, but we had some copyright issues. So I'm hoping with this reworking, that it's going to be more acceptable and they're going to allow this kind of uh, more commentary review to go up. Now this is being put out by Boom Studios. The writers are Keanu Reeves and Matt Kind. It is illustrated by Ron Garney. It's colored by Bill Crabtree. And so far in this line, we've learned that Berserker, or also known as B, he's what we call immortal. Being born 80,000 years ago, his parents bestowing this gift upon him by praying to the gods. And he is currently with the US government, working operations for them, in exchange he's hoping that they can find a way to end his immortality. Because after 80,000 years, B is ready to die. He's ready to call it quits. But the US government, they need their super soldiers. And so diving into his past, they try to unlock the secrets of what gave him his abilities. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 4, it's picking us up with B and Diana. They just got done with a session. A session that is the last piece to all of his existence. And the dialogue we get is very interesting because B is talking about how he knows this is all for them to get super soldiers. He's not stupid. He's been alive long enough to have the wisdom to truly understand all of their ulterior motives. But at the end of the day, he doesn't care because he will be dead. If they hold up their end of the bargain, he will die and he will have nothing to worry about. None of this will be any of his concern. And so with B leaving for the day, she plays back this session. And with her playing this back, we are dropped 76,000 years in the past. And after B's mother seeing everything that her son has had to go through, the torment and the torture, the abuse and, and really how he's just been used as a weapon by the father and the tribe, because this isn't technically his father. His father is whatever God being or power created him. But after seeing all of this done, she went back to that cave where he was born. She prayed to the gods yet again and they bestowed upon her a gift. And she believes this gift is the cure to his immortality. The ability to make him mortal again. And she pulls out a small trinket. It's really hard to make out what, a, what it exactly it is. But the father in a fit of rage thinking that he could lose his greatest weapon that has gave him all of this territory and power. He takes the item and he throws it down into the pit. And as Berserker makes his way over to them, this is when they go silent and they are interrupted by a soldier, letting them know that the wolves are at the fences. A battle is ready to begin and they need to get out there and face them before they make their way to the village. And so B and his stepfather, they ride out to greet them. But they quickly learn that this is an ambush. They were set up. This was all a trick. And as arrows come raining down, we see the battle begin. And that's one thing about this comic is these battle scenes are absolutely brutal. We are seeing the absolute brutality of humanity in the early days. But more than that, we're seeing Berserker truly let loose, taking men and ripping them in half, like they are absolutely nothing, like it's a freaking loaf of bread. But as he tears men apart, this is when they realize that their village is getting attacked. This was all a setup to lure them away, to kill all the women and children, to burn all of their homes. Tactically, they were outmaneuvered. And as they ride their horses back, as they try to get back as fast as possible, they realize that they are too late, arriving to nothing more than a graveyard and burning huts. And Berserker, he loses it. Wielding a flaming spear and flaming sword, he starts killing and hacking everything in his way. And after he's maimed, beheaded, executed, every single guy in his way, he goes looking for his mother. He searches through the rubble as a new wave is coming up, 
and behind the hut, this is where he finds her, in the arms of his stepfather, and she is bleeding out, because she did not make it. And seeing this, Berserker is done. He doesn't want anything more to do with this. That was the only thing that kept him by his stepfather's side. The only thing that kept him here in this village. His mother was his last connection to humanity. And so he gets up and he walks away. He lets the hordes come and eat his stepfather alive. And he does not look back. Now these are memories that he has suppressed. Or he has actively tried to suppress because of these are things and times he doesn't want to remember. But in remembering this battle, remembering these days, it has helped them discover many things about B. Discovering his existence and how it was created, or at least trying to have an understanding of how it began. And now they know there is something out there that could cause him to die. There is something that could stop his immortality. And as B is walking away from this village, as he walks away from the flames, in front of him he is met by a garrison of men. And with B being the prime driving force, with him being the only individual, the biggest weapon that, that attacked all of these people, he is obviously the main target here. And we see B stabbed what looks like to death, his guts, his insides, his body ripped apart in the most brutal manner turning into nothing but a sludge of flesh and bone. And that's where they left his body. And night turned into day and day into night. Not knowing how many days passed, after animals feasting on his remains, we see what appears to be a cocoon starting to form. And from this cocoon, we see B reaching out. Because this was the first time that he learned that he was truly immortal. He learned that there was nothing that could kill him. His body could get blown to pieces and it would reform. Now, as Diana was listening to all of this, she was driving somewhere. She was headed to some kind of house in the suburban area and going up and knocking on the door, it's the house of B. And she tells B that they need to have a conversation. They need to sit down and talk. A discussion with no wires, no drugs, just the 100% truth. And that is where this issue will end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. For me, this has been a really slow burn first volume. And I say that because they're taking a long time to tell his story, to tell his origin story. You know, we've learned that he was born 80,000 years ago, or at least in that ballpark area. His name being Unut, but we refer to him as Berserker or B that his mother was gifted a, an ability what they perceive to be a god. But the US government, they think this may be replicatable. And so it's possible if they find the right flowers and ingredients that she used to do all of this, it's possible they could recreate these super soldiers. I think the dialogue has been really spectacular up to this point, but like I said, it's just been a really slow burn. It's taking a while to get to our, our, our main overall story that we're gonna be diving into, because this is just the beginning. This is introducing us to what's going to come, introducing us to the players on the field, letting us know everything that is at stake. I think the artwork truly does match the story. You know, it's not a, a fully defined kind of artwork. It's more, more loose, like we're playing with watercolors almost. And I think especially diving into, you know, 80,000, 76,000 years ago, I think those colors, the, those artwork, the, the line work, it really does fit the story. But yeah, I really look forward to seeing the rest of this line. I look forward to seeing it on, on the big screen and in the TV series that's going to be coming. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.